This front living room fifth wheel is one of the most amazing layouts that I have seen so far. Let's check it out. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Keystone Montana 3760 FL and it's one of the best front living room fifth wheels I have seen so far. Now, if this is the first time you've seen one of my walkthrough videos, I do about an eight to 10 minute walkthrough of the entire coach without any sound effects or special editing or anything of that nature, just you and I talking, okay? Now, since it's windy outside, we're gonna cut the outside pretty short just to prevent all the noise, okay? So let's start with what we normally do, the weight sticker. So here, it's 14,100 pounds dry. 16,800 pounds GVWR, 7,000 pound axles on 16 inch tires. <clears throat> Pardon me. You also have an auto level system. It does not have a generator, but it has pass through storage in the front here. And then it also has pass through storage in the rear as well. Okay. You have a 10 gallon propane electric hot water heater. It is prepped for a backup camera, has a roof ladder, sorry about all the wind. It also has two power awnings, frameless thermal pane windows because it has the Arctic package, okay? Now the Arctic package, realistically, let's close this door and try to keep the noise level down. The Arctic package is mainly a sealed underbelly, but also you get the tank heaters as well. So you flip these on, just like on my Keystone Cougar, and it keeps the tanks from freezing. Theoretically. <laughs> anyway, uh, it has lots of slide outs, big kitchen. For being a front living room, the only thing I don't like in the kitchen area is they shortened the island. There isn't as much prep space on the island even with the foldable extension as there is in the Sabre. So when I, again, you can't get everything you want in a coach. You can get a lot of things. But what's impressive to me is just the coloring. I like the gray tones. I also like the fact that they added a cabinet here in the half bath. Okay, this is not usual. Even though you probably need to be six foot seven to get up there, <laughs> it's still nice to see some extra storage in the half bathroom. Okay, and then of course you have your normal storage underneath. And sorry about the cord that's waving around. I don't have my normal microphone, it broke. I've got another one coming in. Okay, got good storage all the way around in the kitchen. You got the bigger microwave. And it's actually a convection microwave. It's a little shocking in a good way. Pots and pans, bam. You got your three burner Furion stove and your oven. And then down here, we're gonna have a pull out drawer. And then let's just go through each drawer as we're going. Now, the one thing I will say is I like the way the drawers come in and out. Reminds me a lot of the Cedar Creek by Forest River. Reminds me a lot of the Sabre by Forest River. But it's really nice. Now, here's what sets me apart with everybody else. Even though it is a two-piece sink, this part of the sink is big enough to do... Uh, pots of chili, tortilla soup, you can feel comfortable being able to wash a large pot or pan in this side of the sink. Give them props, man. I love that. That's fabulous. Okay. And then you got a little bit of storage and a little bit of access to plumbing underneath the island. And then the thing everybody's going to, the little trash. Oops, customer left trash inside here. That's okay. Okay. Then your normal double door propane electric refrigerator. We're at an incline, so that's not gonna work out the way I wanted it to, but we're gonna do our best. <laughs> uh, still my favorite refrigerator. I know a lot of folks really like to have the residential because it's deeper, and you know, this fridge is gonna go away eventually. 
so I understand but I'm gonna miss that propane electric refrigerator and I like they have hidden little outlets here for the dining room and then you have your pantry so realistically outside of the counter space I really think this is the second best kitchen out of all the front living room floor plans I'm still gonna give Cedar Creek and uh, Sabre the nod in my opinion but still pretty darn good I love the front living room looks absolutely fabulous uh, again everyone has this floor plan up top so there's nothing special about it but it still looks good it's in good shape you got your theater seating your pull-out couch the TV comes out of the front fabulous before we go into the bedroom did anybody notice my new shoes <laughs> they are the sponsor of this video Fitville now they sent me these shoes for free to try them out I ordered them a size 11 thinking oh my god they're not gonna fit right they fit perfectly and they are super comfortable if you're interested I'll put the link to their website in the description box below okay let's get back to it okay now here is what separates this floor plan from everybody else now downside is most of your other brands put a king size bed in here this is a queen size but what separates it is the closet watch this I'll take a queen size bed to get washer dryer prep here and that huge closet this is not the normal way of doing things in this floor plan normally the closet is over here somewhere but for it to be right here opens up the bedroom space having the walk around queen bed having the TV directly across it doesn't look so busy it looks more open it looks more inviting so I'm very impressed and then drawers of course the other thing I'm very impressed by is I actually like the lighter tone of the drawers they're not too dark they're not too light I don't like the whitewash cabinets in the kitchen that's another reason why I can't really stand some of the I just I just don't like white cabinets I'm not a fan a lot of you guys are though so you know different strokes for different folks and the full-size bathroom the master absolutely gorgeous big shower it's bigger because of where they placed the closet this is a bigger bathroom now you are missing out on storage because in like the Saber the Sanibel um, uh, the Coachman Chaparral in a lot of these floor plans you gain more storage by having the smaller bathroom okay in fact I'll probably if you look at my fifth wheel walkthroughs you'll see a few of the front living rooms I have done but I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of storage to have this layout I'm a little jealous that I cannot sell these brand new <laughs> oops he put a mirror there Okay. Now, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section or in the dis or in the comment section or you can go to the description box below. And in the description box below, you guys can uh, contact me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Also, you can email me. My email address is there as well. And in the top right-hand corner of this video, I'm going to show you another really cool fifth wheel layout.